as we point to next season, we've, we've tried to think about not only great companies, but the work specifically that they're bringing um, and that it be significant and large scale, correct? No doubt. Again, an area of our program that really is only 25 years in the making. Yeah. And um, we'll be kicking off the season with um, our very own region's Hubbard Street Dance mm -hmm. Chicago, which makes semi-regular visits to Ann Arbor and to UMS, both a repertory evening and then um, hot on the heels of a premiere in Chicago, the presentation of a new evening length work that's being choreographed by young Instagram dance <laughs> sensation Emma Portner yeah. and Lil Buck. We're also gonna have Camille Brown and her company back with the third um, section of a trilogy that she's been working on over the course of the last decade. She's also working on Jesus Christ Superstar on Broadway right that's now. It it's um, a work entitled Ink which is further mining the, um, the traditions of African dance around the world. She's really looking at African diasporic dance. And um, this is a work that just premiered last year at the Kennedy Center and will be here in Ann Arbor. We'll have the Ballet Prejocage from France bringing their most recent work called La Fresque, which is based on a Chinese story and a set of Chinese frescoes. Really sort of top of the mountain contemporary ballet. This is a company that is extraordinarily well um, populated with some of the best dancers in the world. It's also um, a well-resourced company. The production values are out of this world. And um, this is one of those companies that you always want to be checking in on to see what they're up to. And then we'll be um, finishing the season with a company that Ann Arbor audiences know very, very well. Um, visits by the Martha Graham Dance Company go all the way back to our earliest experimentations with presenting dance here in Ann Arbor. They will be bringing two evenings of dance, which will be both signature Graham works and also new commissions. Janet Albert, who's the artistic director of the Martha Graham Dance Company, has really been in her own process of evolution with that company in thinking about what does it mean to both preserve these American treasures that were created by Martha Graham and marry them to new work, new contemporary work that's in conversation with these um, Graham ballets, which really are the um, source of American contemporary dance. Yeah. And I like that we're still continuing our exchange and collaboration with the Michigan Opera Theater on the dance front uh, in Bill T. Jones, which is happening, I think, in late October. I think Saturday, October 27th, a new work by Bill T. Jones, Arnie Zane Dance Company. And I think that this is a very fruitful relationship. 